Hey there, today I am so excited. I am bringing you a ketone test video with a brand new bread I have never seen before. A couple of you have told me about this bread, but I just went to Sprouts. It hadn't even been that long since I had gone to Sprouts, but they just got it in and I was able to get both their white bread and wheat bread. So it is Aunt Millie's um, one net carb bread. I'm so excited for it. It feels so soft. So I'm really, I have high hopes for this, but, um, I have to test my ketones first to see where I'm at. If you like videos like this, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you don't like videos like this, give it a thumbs down. Your feedback's really important, but I'm going to go ahead and test my ketones now. And hopefully I can test this bread. So just so you know, I haven't eaten anything today. It's 10 o'clock. I woke up at six. I'm going to go with it. This is what their white bread looks like. And this is what their wheat looks like. Sorry, the lighting in here is not better, but it looks like it has some little flecks of something. Maybe it's like almond, almond seed, um, like the outside of almond, but it's so soft. Like, It reminds me of Wonder Bread. Okay, so I'm gonna taste the white bread first. Yeah. It has that white bread taste and texture. So it has a little bit of a powdery feel to it, just a little bit around the crust. But the inside is soft and chewy. This is nice. I think I like the Carbonat better, but this is still really good. I feel like the carbonat is a little less less dry here. Um, but it's still really soft. I'll try the wheat now. I actually like the wheat better. Um, it has a little bit, it has more of a taste to it than um, the white bread, but it's still the same texture. And I feel like the uh, crust isn't as dry. Yeah, I like the white a lot better has a little bit of a sweetness to it as well. It smells like, um, like Hawaiian rolls. When I opened the bag, that's what I thought. Hawaiian rolls, first thing. Wow, this is, this is really convincing. I'm gonna give a piece to my brother. He doesn't do keto and see what he thinks too. But this is nice. I really like the flavor of this one over the white bread. The white bread basically doesn't have any flavor, but this is, it's not, it's not like a wheat flavor though. It's kind of like a slightly sweet white bread, but it's, it's nice in my opinion. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and toast these and see how they toast. Okay. So this bread definitely toasts a little bit quicker than normal bread. Um, like the carbo knot that I tested last time, um, it, I put it at a four on my toaster and it toasted kind of perfectly, just lightly toasted. I don't really like my bread super toasted. I had this one on the same setting and it started to burn a little bit at the edges. So definitely go towards a lower setting for this bread, but it still toasts up really nicely. So I'll go ahead and test the white bread. That's really nice. It's, um, it's crunchy, but it's like an airy kind of crunchy. It's not crunchy all the way through. There's still a little bit of a, of a softness to it, but it's really light. Um, there's still not a whole lot of flavor to it. Yeah. It just tastes kind of like a white bread. It's very subtle in flavor, but the texture is nice. I mean, it's not like a, it's not like a dry toast because it's very light and airy. It's, I think that toasted really well because you're obviously getting that crunch. Uh, okay, so this is the wheat one. So this one definitely loses some of the sweetness to it, but just like the other one, it does um, crunch up on the outside, but still stays soft. I think the white one's definitely airier, but this is still um, a really nice toast option. I think I still prefer the wheat bread over the white one. Um, but the white is a very classic white toast kind of taste. So on butter, I think that would be great. Um, this, if you want a little more flavor, I think the wheat is the way to go, but I'm going to go ahead and finish up these two pieces 
And then I'll test my ketones in an hour and see if they changed at all from the point four that I was at before trying this stuff. I almost forgot. I need to go over the ingredients in the macros. So this is what the white bread looks like. This, this has two slices taken out of it because I'm gonna have my boyfriend try it as well. One slice is 30 calories, one gram of fat, 13 total carbs, 11 dietary fiber. It looks like it's only counting the sugar as the gram of net carbs, but I'm thinking it's two net carbs. I don't know. And then three grams of protein. The ingredients for the white bread is water, resistant tapioca starch, wheat gluten, wheat protein isolate, inulin, yeast, oat fiber, allulose. Oh, so the allulose probably brings it down to one net carb. I don't know why they don't list the allulose in the nutrition label. Soybean oil, guar gum, salt, potassium, chloride, vinegar, datum, there's that one, calcium, propanate, cellulose gum, azorbic acid, maltodextrin, azorbic acid, carrageenan, dextrose, soybean oil. Those are all like <laughs> big no-nos for a lot of people. Uh, artificial flavor, lactic acid, reduced iron, thi thiamine, mononitrate, riboflavin, niacin, and folic acid. So then this is the wheat. One slice is again 30 calories. One total fat on this one. 13 total carbs, 11 dietary fiber, and um, three grams of protein. The ingredients include water, resistant tapioca starch, wheat protein isolate, inulin, yeast, wheat gluten, oat fiber, allulose, wheat dextrin, uh, guar gum, soybean oil, datum, uh, potassium, chloride, salt, vinegar, calcium, propanate, azorbic acid, zorbic acid, soybean oil, lactic acid, and reduced iron. So I think this one has wheat dextrin higher on the list than the white bread, but that's what this looks like. I think this is going to make a really great um, French toast, in my opinion. But anyways, I'll be back in an hour to test my ketones again. Okay, it has been an hour since I had the Aunt Millie's uh, slices of bread. So I'm gonna test my ketones now. One hour ago, it was at 0.4. Fingers crossed. Oh, wow. I can't believe that. Okay. I'll do another ketone test in an hour, see if it changes at all. Okay, so it has been two, a total of two hours since I first tasted the um, Aunt Millie's bread. I'm going to go ahead and test my ketones. Uh, one hour ago, it was at 0.4. Ouch, that dropped 0.3. Man, I was so hopeful that it wouldn't drop at all. Okay, I am gonna have now my boyfriend test um, the, he's gonna do a taste test for the bread and see what his thoughts are. So he is not keto, he doesn't follow the ketogenic diet really at all. Um, so he kind of gets, uh, more of like a clean slate kind of opinion. So let me grab him and see what he thinks. Okay, so my boyfriend is here and he's gonna be trying out the Aunt Millie's bread. They have a white bread. Hmm, and, Aunt Millie, I've never heard of her. Yeah, and a wheat bread. So here's a white bread, untoasted. Can we just dig into this? Give it a go. Is this an actual piece of bread, or is, is this like the before and then after is the keto? Wow. This is just like a wonder bread. 
That's what I was thinking. Like normally it like crumbles apart in your mouth, but this just stays together and it's so thick and fluffy. Okay, that's the last bite. Oh, whoa. This is so good, I can't stop. Can I keep going? <laughs> we're gonna have a, we're gonna toast that one. Mmm. Wow. What do you think about the flavor? Um, I feel like there's a little hint of something. Mm-hmm. Like towards the end of chewing it, but it, I mean, it was, it was like whatever. What about uh, the texture? Uh, great. Thick. They are kind of thick slices. But I mean, it's not like that fake thick where it's like all airy. It's like actually thick. Mm -hmm. It continues to be thick upon chewing. Mm -hmm. I think this is the best bread I've had. Wow. So you like this one better than Carbonat? Yeah. That was the last one we tried. You said it was better than Chompy's, so. Oh, wow. This is the best one you've had so this far? This is better than Chompy's. Wow. Take my word on this one. This one's better than Chompy's. And wow, the wow, last wow. one I said was better than Chompy's. <laughs> Okay, let's try the wheat. Ooh, wow. It's heavy. Smell it, smell it. Yeah, whoa. It smells good. It's heavy. Look, look at this. Like, I'm really trying to pull it apart. I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, wow. Even the crust is, like, hard. Like, crispy, kind of. Mm -hmm. It has that great wheat flavor. This is really good. What's the difference that you notice between the two? Just that this one has more of a taste to it. Mm -hmm. But I mean, that's wheat bread. It's supposed to be some sort of flavor. Exactly, yeah. But yeah, I, I could keep eating this. I won't. You yeah. won't let? I want to. Pause, pause for a moment. So, mm. which one do you like better? Oh, wow. I think it just comes down to preference of if you like white or wheat better. Um, I kind of like the wheat just because I like the flavor of it. But um, the white, the white bread, there's nothing wrong with the white bread. Yeah. It's just what you like. It's just kind of plain, mm. which is how white bread's supposed to be. Um, I prefer the wheat bread, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I kind of thought that the wheat bread smelt like like Hawaiian bread, almost. Oh. No? You didn't think it was sweet at all? No. I thought it was a little sweet, but... Mm. Okay, so we'll go ahead and toast both slices, and then you can try it toasted. All right. Some butter? No butter. Yeah, you could do butter because you're not doing a ketone test, so. Cool. We'll add butter to it. Nice. I'll go ahead and try it with butter, too, just to see, since I'm already done with the ketone test. Okay, so I have them toasted. Wow, it smells great. Go ahead and try the white bread first. Okay, great. Mmm. Even better. Maybe it's the butter. I don't know. Mmm. That is good. Mmm. -hmm. Wow, thanks. Oh, wow. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's like a regular mm -hmm. piece of toast. Like a piece of toast you get at like a breakfast place. That's so good. All of it? Whoa. Guest appearance by the cat. Mmm. Bye-bye. This one's good too. Okay, wait. Give your thoughts about that one. That one? Okay, so the white bread, toasted. Yeah. Just like you said, restaurant, diner, toast. It tasted great. Do you like it better toasted or untoasted? Mmm, I like it toasted. I think I like the white bread better toasted as well. But yeah. like, if I were to make a sandwich, I'd obviously want it untoasted. Right. But like to eat by itself, um, I think toast is better for that one. Go ahead and try this one. This is the wheat. Hmm. I don't like it quite as much. It's still really good. Is it the flavor or something? You're asking like I know the answer. I don't know. I don't know, I feel like the, the flavor gets kind of stronger from the wheat when it's toasted and... What? Yeah. You always say that. Oh, wow. Guess it's always true. I feel like the, um, I feel like the flavor of the wheat is dimmed down a little bit. I prefer the wheat better untoasted than toasted. I would say that too. 
just because I didn't like the stronger flavor. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, wow, they're, they're both good toasted, they're both good untoasted. Yeah, no, that's a good slice of like wheat bread uh toasted i think it's i think it's great so the this is your favorite this is my favorite better than chompies better than carbonat wow this is so great it's like it's thick it tastes like real bread it feels like real bread i feel like i don't think i've said this before but i feel like if you gave this to someone not knowing that it wasn't a keto bread they wouldn't know they'd just be like oh it's a pretty good piece of bread I think I prefer the um, Carbonat white bread over this white bread Why? because it reminded me more of like a French bread, which uh. I love French bread. Um, this is a good white bread option for sure. And if you don't have any other white bread option, I mean, do this one. Or even if you had like the Chompies bread uh, option or I mean... Based on my ketone results, I would still pick Chompies, but if you don't care as much about ketones, um, this is, I, I feel like, a dead ringer for a white bread. Mm -hmm. um, however, for the wheat bread, I think that's the best wheat bread I've had, because I didn't like the Carbonat seeded bread. This mm. one, this one is, it's, it doesn't have seeds in it, it just has, you know, kind of like some speckles in it of something. Yeah. But it has a nice flavor to it. I would prefer this wheat bread over any other wheat bread that I've had so far. Kind of multi seed. But that I don't really like seeds. Mm -hmm. So, but it had a nice flavor. I think the wheat bread uh, was better than the white bread. But you like the, I white like the white bread better than the wheat bread. Yeah. Yeah. Something for everyone. Sure. Okay. That's that's all we have for you in this one. See you in the next one. Bye. Come on, hey. Come up here. People love when you're in the shot. Oh, I thought she meant me. Okay. Uh, can you scoot up at all? Yeah, that looks nice. Looks so much bigger than you. Okay. <laughs>